Okay, moving on to the next team in the SEC that we will be going over today. That would be the team I actually have coming in last place in this conference. And I do feel like most people aren't necessarily going to agree with me on this, considering that it's not like this team was that bad last year. But I'll explain why I'm going to have them in last place. And that is Ben Howland and his Mississippi State Bulldogs. And the first thing I'll say about the Bulldogs is this. Over the last couple of years, I've been pretty open-minded with Ben Howland and this Bulldogs team. I believe it was two years ago. I believe Mississippi State had a chance to be one of the best basketball teams in their school's history when they brought in both Witherspoons, Lamar Peters, Reggie Perry as a freshman, and they had a pretty solid regular season. They ended up making the NCAA tournament as a five seed, but there was never really a time where I watched that Mississippi State Bulldog team, and I said to myself, okay, this team is going to go on a run. This team... Is, looks ready to break out, and ultimately, they ended their season with a very disappointing first-round NCAA tournament loss to Liberty, and last year, it's not like things were much better. And uh, Mississippi State, I feel like last year, they weren't able to make the tournament, and this year's roster is significantly worse than last year's roster, and if you look at Ben Howland and the history of what has gone down since he's been the head coach in Starkville, here's my concern, and many other teams have this concern, right? It's that... Mississippi State last year had Reggie Perry, who's going to be an NBA player. They had Nick Witherspoon, who left early, and they've known, by the way, that he's left early for a really long time, and they haven't picked up a grad transfer. The only transfer they have right now is Tulu Smith. He's projected right now to be the sixth man. He was from Western Kentucky and 18-19 as a redshirt freshman, averaged 3.3 points per game and 2.6 rebounds per game. But with Mississippi State, a lot of their teams in the past have had much more talent than this team has. And ultimately, it's not like Ben Howland was really able to get and guide those teams over the top. And I just remember watching that Mississippi State NCAA tournament game against Liberty and just saying to myself, what exactly are we doing here? Like, where is this team going? And if this team can't win with with uh, Reggie Perry and Tyson Carter and Robert Woodard, who, by the way, is also an NBA player, and Nick Witherspoon and Quindary Witherspoon, who's an NBA player, that is very concerning for this Mississippi State team just because they don't have that much talent. And I feel like Ben Howland is a guy that kind of needs to start winning because over the last couple of years, he need, he's done a really good job bringing in talent. And I think Ben Howland at Pitt and at UCLA has done a really good job. And I like this hire for Mississippi State when it was made. But at the same time, I'll admit, Ben Howland hasn't done a great job in terms of wins and losses at this Mississippi State program. I would feel like the way he recruited going into his first year at Mississippi State, you would have expected him and his tenure and his staff to win at least one NCAA tournament game by now. And defense, which has historically been Ben Howland's calling card, his squads are really known for their physical, hard-nosed, half-court, man style of play. But it's interesting that Howland has had just one top 40 defense ever since he's been the head coach of Mississippi State. And the Bulldogs, they like to speed up the opposing teams. But last year, to be honest, it's not really like they forced a lot of turnovers. And the interior had guys like Reggie Perry, who as I mentioned earlier, decided to go to the NBA. And Abdul Adu, who is going to be back this year, but he's really not much of an offensive threat at all. He's just a consistent rebounder that uh, has been with the program a long time. And then the other starters who returned from last year's squad, uh, two of them are DJ Stewart and then also Iverson Molinar. I feel like if there was one player on this Mississippi State team that I would be buying stock in for this upcoming season, it would be Iverson Molinar. And those two, along with Adu, are going to make up the nucleus of the Mississippi State Bulldog players that return. But when once again, even though those three guys were legitimate starters last year, all played big minutes, I'm just not entirely sure that that's enough. And Molinar is really going to be one of the top guys responsible for filling the role for Quindary Witherspoon, and it, or Nick Witherspoon, excuse me. And it's funny because Nick Witherspoon actually missed the first eight games of last year. And with Molinar, he's a very good outside shooter whose role also will increase uh, from his freshman year. And then along with Abdul Adu, he's going to continue being that big rebounder, dominating the glass and block shots. And he plays a role on offense. He shot 80% from the field over the last couple, uh, last season, excuse me. And the other two guys they bring in that need to be very productive, I think, for this Mississippi State Bulldog team is the Louisiana transfer, Jalen Johnson, and then the also top 60 four star freshman, Devion Smith, who right now could have two spots locked into the starting lineup as the point guard and the uh, four power forward. And Jalen Johnson is really going to be a guy that if Mississippi State 
doesn't want to get killed by Reggie Perry leaving early, I think he's going to be a guy that really will have to step up his game. And Smith is under six foot and he could dunk too. I've seen his highlight reel. It's crazy. And with Carter and Witherspoon and Woodard gone, Smith is going to be responsible right away for a big time role. And he's going to be expected to do a lot with these point guard duties. And I feel like his ball handling should allow him to be pretty solid as a freshman for this Mississippi State squad, but I'm worried about this team's bench. Tulu Smith, the Western Kentucky transfer, will be the primary backup for Abdul Du. He's a solid rebounder, but couldn't get much uh, consistent play with the Hilltoppers the last time he was eligible two seasons ago. And then they also have sophomore Quentin Post, who is a seven-footer out of Amsterdam. He should see some run after playing just 20 minutes per uh, 21 minutes total as a freshman. They also bring back JV and Davis, the transfer from Alabama. Um, it looks like he's going to be getting the waiver. He had a solid season for Nate Oates at Alabama. I just find it very interesting that he was basically run off and decided to go to a team in a, in the same conference as his old squad. And then um, the bottom line is this. Mississippi State, it kills them that they lost three players to the NBA draft. And to be honest, I don't feel like Ben Howland is the kind of coach that I'm really 100% confident in to get me over this hump, especially because of what he's done over the last couple of years while at Mississippi State. And I understand that Ben Howland has done a really good job recruiting, but how valuable is that recruiting when you, co- when you don't win games, especially when your past teams were significantly much more talented than this current team? If you're a Mississippi State fan, I don't necessarily know how your expectations realistically this season could be getting to the NCAA tournament just because Ben Howland has done it once with a really talented team and it's not like they succeeded or did anything well while they were there. I understand that Mississippi State is not the best basketball school. It's a hard job. But at the same time, when you're bringing in talent, you have to ensure a culture. And Ben Howland, he did the hard part, getting talent into Starkville, but now he just has to win games. There are some potential for this team to be good if a Molinar breaks out, if a DJ Stewart breaks out, if the freshman JV and Dave, uh, if the freshman uh, guard Devian Smith could play well. But at the same time, I'm just not necessarily sure if I believe those things will happen. And I have Mississippi State finishing in 14th in the SEC.